Let's learn how to wrap text around a circle in Photoshop in this super simple tutorial. In a blank document, start by turning on your rulers by going to View, Rulers, and then from there click and drag out a horizontal and a vertical ruler to get the center point of your document. Click and drag, and there you go. With your center point marked, come over to the left hand side and select your ellipse tool. Then from the center, click and drag out an ellipse and then hold Alt and Shift to make the circle uniform and to drag out from the center. Drag it out to around halfway of the size of the document and release. With your ellipse complete, come over to the left hand side and select your type tool. Drag the cursor over onto the top of the ellipse until you can see the little wavy line appear. That means to type on a path and then simply click from there. Once clicked, your lorem ipsum text will appear. So simply type in the text that you want. Use Command or Control A to select it, and then use either your character panel or your options up here to make your text bigger and to select an appropriate font and color. Let's try this a little bigger at 60, and let's try a font such as Bevis New, something with a bit of weight and a bit of height. Make sure your text is left aligned by selecting the left align option here. As the text is now on a circular path on its own separate layer, feel free to hide the ellipse layer. So now you can just work on this layer here. Then come over to the left hand side and select your path selection tool. Drag that over onto your text. And now we're going to alter the start and finish points for this text. When you see the right arrow cursor appear over the text, click and drag and drag that until it snaps to the 90 degree point on the left hand side. Once positioned, use the path selection tool and return to where the text was, then click and then drag the other cursor until it snaps to the 90 degree angle. And now you have your start and end points exactly on the 90 degree angles of the circle. With your points set accordingly, come over to the left and return to your type tool, select it, click your text, press command or control A to highlight the text, and then come over to your character and paragraph tools to adjust orientation, font weight, font size, kerning, and so many other options. I'm going to use the center text option in my paragraph panel, select my character, and then I'm going to adjust the size and the kerning accordingly. Once finished, press your selection tool to get out of the type options. Once you've completed your top text, come over to your layers panel, right click and duplicate layer, press OK. With this top layer selected, Come over to the left and again, select your path selection tool. Drag it over that top text until the two arrows appear. Click and hold and then drag the text inside. From there, click and drag the text around until you snap those points back to the 90 degrees in the opposite direction. Once snapped into position, select the bottom text by going to your type tool. And as we did before, click Command or Control A to highlight everything. And now we're going to return to the character panel. And in order to get the text on the outline of the path, we're going to adjust the baseline shift here. Click and drag your baseline shift or set a specific amount until you're happy that it's just in line on the path. And exactly the same as the other text there, you can adjust the font weight, size, kerning, orientation with the paragraph panel and so on and so forth until you get it the way you want it. Once finished, press the selection tool to come out of the type options. So now if you come in with the selection tool and click and drag, you'll see you've got two separate layers. One is running circular along the top and the other is running circular along the bottom. And you can adjust both of these text layers with the type tool and change the kerning, the weight and so on and so forth as much as you want. With your text layer set up, you can come in with your badge, your artwork, whatever it is, and then you can use that to guide you and set up the text accordingly. If at any time you don't feel like you need your guides anymore, you can toggle them or clear them by going to view and either show and turning off the guides or simply go to clear guides. And there you go. There's how to wrap text around a circle in Photoshop using a few simple techniques. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if so, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.